The shocking mystery behind the unsolved Velisca axe murders. As the evening church service ended, the Moore family went home and asked some friends over to spend the blessed night with them. But little did they know, the supposedly joyful get-together would turn into a hellish experience. Would they be able to survive? We'll see that at the end of this video. But first, here's where it all started. The Moore's family was influential and well-known in their community, admired by many of their neighbors. It was after attending the Children's Day program in church, Catherine Moore, one of the daughters, invited two of her friends for a sweet gathering. The family welcomed their daughter's acquaintance to their house and feasted with them. Later that night, after their long and delightful quality time, they finally decided to take a rest, unaware of the terrible fate that was about to come. On the gloomy night of that same day, a man was at the attic of Moore's residence. It was unclear how he broke into the house, but one thing was certain, he's up with no good intention. After his long wait, the man then headed straight to the master's bedroom and did what he was supposed to do. It was an unusual morning for their neighbor, Mary, as she had never seen anyone leave the house or do the chores, and after several hours, she became uneased and started feeling that something was amiss. So she began knocking on the family's door, but nobody answered. So she called Mr. Moore's brother, who immediately unlocked the front door after hearing what Mary said. However, they were startled to see something far from what they expected. As the crippling fear slowly crawled all over their body, they found out that the entire Moore family, along with the two visitors, were all bludgeoned to their deaths. The authorities were called right after, and they confirmed that no one in the family and the Stillinger girls had actually lived to see another day. The murder weapon was an axe that belonged to Desai himself. Contrastingly, of all the victims, he was the one that got most brutally killed, as he received more blows than anyone from the blade of the axe, while everyone else received blows from its blunt end. The investigation concluded that the killer patiently waited in the attic before the gruesome murder took place between midnight until 5 in the morning, as two spent cigarettes were found. Eventually, many possible suspects gained the interest of the authorities, including Frank F. Jones, William Mansfield, Loving Mitchell, Paul Miller, Henry Lee Moore, and even Reverend George Kelly, who was the conductor of the church meeting attended by the family the night before the incident. One person was particularly exceptional, and it was Reverend George Kelly, as he wrote many letters to authorities about his alleged leads on the murder. This aroused their suspicions, so they asked him for more leads. Surprisingly, he replied in great detail, claiming to have possibly even witnessed the crime. However, his known mental illness made authorities question his claims. And two years after that incident, they obtained a confession from him, and he was arrested. However, after two consecutive trials, he was acquitted as he recanted his previous claims. With that, the demented Velisca axe murderer, who brutally killed a family and a sibling out of his wicked reasoning still roamed free, as the case remained unsolved. We have discovered the shocking story of Velisca axe murders, and now, click this, and let's see the next amazing story.